Hey, what's up? I am Lucid and welcome back to Minecraft. So as you can tell from my empty inventory here, I just freaking died. And also, I'm here in the in that area that I created last time, but as you can probably tell, it's kind of different this time because I've actually done a lot of work to it. I've added some crafting tables, another rose bush, like this bed here, and yeah, there's just stuff all over. And over there, I got like kind of a a door going on that goes outside and this goes up to the top but the point of this well actually I don't know why I'm showing this off right now I shouldn't be doing this I should actually be going to get my items and the place that I actually died at is not a very easy place to for my items to be retrieved in my opinion I think because I actually died in the nether while looking for nether not nether quartz while I was actually looking for glowstone and man I accidentally dug straight down and you should just never do that and that actually ended up screwing me over and I fell from a high place and that's how I died okay so now I have no levels and I have to go to the freaking nether to get my stuff back and hopefully I can get it before it despawns and also if you can tell by the different textures I'm actually using a texture pack from a subscriber named leaf or actually I think it's a resource pack because all the sounds are different too and I'm actually really liking this and I'm kinda sorry I can't really show it off right now because I have no items but <laughs> I did just kinda die but once I get my items back if I get my items back which I really do hope I get my items back because if I don't then I'm in big trouble and oh man I should have been more careful here that gas is totally just gonna shoot at me how do I get down to where I was? See, listen to that sound, it's beautiful, it's the old explosion sounds. So where was I before? I was like up there and I fell down over there, I think. That's where my item should be, so how the heck do I get down there is the question. Can you go away, dude? Oh, come on, let me shoot one back at you. I think you can get an achievement for this. Whoa, that hit me. Okay. One more. I got you this time. Oh, I'm missing. Okay, this is stupid. I'm out. I'm gonna die. I am totally gonna die. Where'd he go? Alright, I actually wanna use this chance to grab some of this... This netherrack that he destroyed. This stupid gas. Come on, what are you doing, man? Just my luck that there'd be a gas here. Come on, I gotta get my items back. I don't, like, have enough levels to just be enchanting stuff. Alright, how do I get down there? How do I get down there? Oh no, I should have thought of a better way of doing this. I can't go down from here, I don't even know if it connects. Oh! Like, where I need to go is right under that, what I'm looking at right now. Crap, I'm starting to panic now. I keep two so I can regen. Or at least have constant regen. I have 26. I have 26 nether rack. That should help me, I guess not really gonna help me get down. Can I get down from here? See, there's my items. Oh, okay, good. I can actually make it here. Now, let me just quickly grab them all before the gas destroys more stuff. Don't destroy my stuff, please. Ah, uh, okay. I think some of the stuff got burned up. I hope my pick didn't get lost. There's some arrows there. Oh man, I really don't want to fall into the lava. Am I missing anything? Now I just gotta find a safe place to quickly recuperate. Yeah, oh man, it looks like I lost my shovel. And my sword. Not that that's really a big loss because my sword kind of sucked. But still. Oh, and my buckets are gone too. Huh. Oh man, what a big loss. Torches, buckets. Shoot. I think that fire just like ate everything. Dang it, I lost my silk touch pick, I think. Oh, that's a real bummer. And I didn't even get any freaking glowstone. Ah, well, that's Minecraft, right? Now there's a big ass shooting at me. I think I'm gonna abort this mission for now. No glowstone for me. At least I got some of my... Ah, even if I do get this right now, I don't have silk touch, so there's no point. Dang it. Oh man, this is really bad. Okay, well... I guess I'm gonna have to make new tools. Dang, I'm actually kinda bummed about that. Not so much about the sword, but the shovel was pretty good. And it still had a lot of duration on it. Durability. Why do I say duration? I don't know. Alright, there's my portal. I'm just gonna get out of here. 
Oh man. Sorry, Leaf. I can't leave. I can't name my my other pick, Matic, because because it's kind of gone now. Oh man. Oh, I like that sand texture. Man, it's nighttime now. Oh, a new moon. I think is what that is. Bummer. Okay, let me just grab these real quick, I guess, because I have been using melons because I don't have that much glowstone, so I kind of have to use the... Not melons, pumpkins. I kind of have to use pumpkins as jack-o'-lanterns for lighting. But I do want to stick some... Oh, wow. See, that looks different now because I planted a lot of trees. It looks different than before. That tree's kind of too big. I kind of want to trim it, but I don't know how to do that properly, so I might work on that later. But yeah, I've been using melons for lighting but I kind of need to use I would like to use glowstone instead because it looks cleaner and man I got some quartz here it's not going to do me any good anymore why am I even putting stuff in my old base well I haven't moved to the new one yet so it's fine I guess and let's see let me just quickly make some more torches too okay melons melons well that was a pumpkin I don't know why I brought it in here but ah, oh, man this kind of sucks all right. Wow, my tools are actually kind of broken too. I guess it's uh, about time that I make new ones. All right, here's the new textures that are involved. I think this cobblestone looks kind of like the old cobblestone, like somewhat. I think this is actually a really nice texture pack. So thanks to Leaf. I'll link it in the description if anybody else wants to try it. But first things first, I got to make some new diamond stuff. Oh wait, not a sword. I already have a sword. I guess all I'm missing is a shovel, huh? And I'll have to throw some enchants on that, but I kind of can't enchant because I don't have any <laughs> levels at all. Well, okay. And uh, my armor is kind of missing too now. Ah. I wanted to grab this iron here so I could make some buckets. Because I like to carry around water on me. And I think those were the only buckets I had. So yeah, kind of lame that I died. Kind of a big bummer. But hey, that's Minecraft. It's brutal sometimes. Not as brutal as Spelunky though. Okay, let's go tour the base a little bit. So if you look at it from the outside, man it looks really cool if you ask me. Uh, I actually I actually extended this out here so I have a little bit of a cover for the main entrance. And if we go in here, whoa that was weird. If we go in here, I replaced this bookshelf that I stole the last episode for this. And these chests are still the same. There's nothing in here. I need to hide some lighting here. And here's the balcony again. There's no moon. Well, there kind of is. I love this balcony. It's amazing. I still didn't do anything to the roof yet. And I still didn't do anything down here yet either. But you know, now that I've experienced my first crazy death, that also cost me my items. Whoa, this tree just grew or something. Huh. Now it's kind of in the way. I didn't like it there because I could stand here before and look at the sunrise. Now I'm not so, sh so sure about having a tree here. Maybe I might cut this down. And I'll just wait for this one to grow instead. Uh oh, am I stuck here? Alright, let me just quickly take a detour and come back around this way. Okay. So yeah, on these stairs, it's still kind of dark here because there's like no lighting. I wanted to stick glowstone in the trees for better lighting. But I did stick some glowstone here, and I'm not sure how that looks. It looks kind of weird to just have that there, but it's really bright, so it's not that bad. And I stuck fence gates here, just for for whatever reason. I don't even know why I did. <laughs> I honestly don't know why I did that. And yeah, here's a little opening here, and a big opening here, and I've actually moved the cover here over a bit too. So this is where I sleep. And it's a pretty cool location, if you ask me. And yeah, it's kind of empty right now though, but I don't know what else to do with it. I just really like it the way it is. And if you'll notice here, there's actually stairs and a ladder. And that's to actually get up here. And oh man, I love that sound of the trapdoor. This is actually a really great, I'm really enjoying this, this resource pack. It's like the old one, but then it's like the old sounds, but the new textures. I really like it. And this sword is pretty cool too. The different, what's it called? textures they look a lot sharper but yeah that trapdoor there was just to get up here into the trees into the foliage and there's also an exit here that I used 
when at the beginning of the episode when I was trying to get out. It's just kind of hidden there from the outside. You can't really... Well, I guess you could see it. I don't really know why I put that there. I just kind of wanted to have an exit there. <laughs> so, yeah. But I should be careful not to fall down because... I need to learn my lesson that falling down actually kills me. Taking fall damage actually does damage. Ho oh, ho. Oh man. Okay. But yeah. I didn't do too much work. I haven't really been working on things other than the top part. But, you know, after this episode off camera, I'm going to dig out this ceiling here. And we're going to replace it with some other stuff just to make it look nicer. And I'll probably also replace all these cobblestone pillars too. On my own time... But I think now that, oh man, I don't even know what I was going to do. I was going to just show off getting some glowstone, but I can't really do that now because I'm kind of afraid of the nether. So instead, I'm going to work, I'm going to come back over here and we're going to check out this zombie grinder. Huh. Okay, there's just this random chest of stuff. I'm just going to destroy it because I think I'm going to turn into this into an EXP grinder. So I need to like dig it out. Hopefully my pick lasts me long enough. And even if it doesn't, I can just re reforge it. Is that the word? I don't know. I could just fix it at the anvil. So I'm actually going to dig out these blocks here. Just a little bit. I'll do the rest maybe off camera. I'm not actually sure how to build a zombie grinder. I know that you can like make one causing them to get hit by fall damage. But I'm not sure how much... How many blocks down I'm supposed to go? I think it was like 16. I don't know. I haven't built one in a really long time. But you're supposed to like dig out a 7x8 around it or something. Depending on like which direction it is. Because that's like how many will spawn. But I actually don't know how to calculate that. So what I'm going to do instead is just dig out an 8x8. I don't think that should matter too much, right? And, you know, I'll probably need to dig down later. I won't do that on this this episode because it's probably really freaking boring to watch. Watch me dig this thing out. I'll probably just do that on the next episode. And I'll show you how to get this thing built. I'm just going to look up, like, some random design. Maybe I'll find one on YouTube. I don't know. No idea. Like, whoa, this guy. It's dark enough for them to spawn now. Oh yeah, I have no knockback now. I don't know why I got so used to the knockback one. That now I don't have the... Now when I don't have the knockback sword, I can't do anything. Even though I complain so much about it. Oh man, the zombies can get in from here. Oh yeah, one time, like, I was looking for a way in. So I dug this, like, tunnel here. Which is kind of stupid, because now the zombies can use it. Ugh, I'm going to patch that up. Okay, I put this dirt here because I wanted to put the put the torch there. So yeah. Alright, time to get digging. I'm just going to dig a bit, maybe like two blocks deep. We'll get like the general layout for it. And I'll do the rest off camera. Just because it's really boring to watch somebody just dig a big square. I do want to just take all this... What's it called? Uh, Moss stone. And man, I really like the texture of this moss stone. I like how the green really stands out. It looks really nice. And the cobble too. I think I'm going to be sticking with this resource pack for a while. And yeah, once again, I'll leave the link to it in the description if Leaf doesn't mind. Because it does look really cool. So yeah, eh, just going to leave it at that. Come back here and work on that next episode. So next episode is going to be a zombie grinder because I need to get my my equipment back up and man I should think of a way to get into my base from that grinder I don't know how to do that though we'll figure it out but yeah oh man nothing much has been going on this episode I think I might just make it a short one because usually these episodes are really long and now I have a lot of stuff I need to get done but yeah quickly well I do have plenty of time so not really it doesn't have to be quickly but I should I should lay out a bit of for the storage room. And you know, I think I need to get a brewing station going on here too. But I don't, I'm not exactly sure where I want to put that. This thing's just so open. I should just put things like anywhere. And it would fit, but I don't know where to put a brewing station. If anybody has any ideas, please let me know. Okay, but first, let me just dump all this stuff in here. All this extra junk. 
I think that this chest went from my good things chest to just my random junk chest. Because <laughs> that's just, that's exactly what I've been using it for. Okay. So, I think for the storage area, I want to make, I want to have like the chest be, oh man, I don't, why do I have an odd number of chests? That's so weird. Let's see. I want to have my chest be in like a square, maybe where I can fit one, two, four. So I'll have like nine chests, actually 12, I guess. Huh. Oh wait, I also wanted to grab some some stone bricks for the ground and for other stuff. Let's see. So I am going to stack the chests. So that might be a bit different. I don't know how far in I should come. Should this just be into the into the storage room already? I don't know. Oh, and it's kind of dark. Actually, maybe I'll just make like this side the storage room and this side will be nothing because I think if I keep digging through, I'll hit the end of the, I'll hit the outside. So let's see, maybe I'm just gonna, I'll just dig out a bit of this for now just to see, get kind of an idea. It's coming to my head, but I'm not sure yet. So let me just go inwards like this. And the ceiling is going to be four high, I think. Yeah, or maybe even just three high, I don't know. But I do need to dig out all the way to four anyways if I want if I want to put in another one. So if I don't want the wood to be the ceiling, then I'm going to need to make it four high. I mean three high. But if I don't mind this wood, which I do kind of mind because there's this weird pattern here, then I'm going to need to make it three high, which I don't mind at all. I don't mind having a three high ceiling. But I just prefer four or five. Like the bigger the better. And oh man, here's that spawner. Okay, so we did run into it. Hmm. So maybe Huh, I'm not sure anymore now. Okay. So how far is this? Do I okay, see here's the question. If I drop all the zombies down and I bring them up somehow with like water or something. Because that's how EXP, EXP farms work, right? You have to be near that actual thing, and then they'll drop down, and then you bring them up with water, and you can, like, one-shot them. So if I do that, do I want to move them here is the question. But if, they're, if they come up here, then this farm is going to be super noisy, and every time I come down to, like, check out my items, it's just going to be super loud. So I don't know. Do I want to set up here? This is kind of, like, a good location for it to be set up, though. I don't know, I'm not so sure, but let me quickly just dig out further because now that that's there, I kind of have to move the storage room over because I can't have it right there, of course. I'm not going to move it on top, I, I might need that spot. So I guess I am kind of leaning towards having the the EXP farm be like right here and then my storage room be somewhat over. So let's count, one, two, three, four, five. So let's put a wall right here. Because that's like kind of one over the wall. Whoops, I fell down. Dang it. Alright, I'm just going to tower up real quick just to get back here. So I might just make my storage room on this side. And we'll begin it like this. Let's see, I did say I wanted three, right? Let me just make the ceiling too high here because it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to give you guys like a general idea of how I want this thing to go. So it's going to be like that, and this is going to be the wall, I guess. I can't make it like super wide because if I do, then we might reach the end of the mountain, so I'm not sure. So right here is where I want the zombies to land if I can get them to land here. So this will be like the EXP part, and this will be my storage area. I'll just build the wall up like this for now. So you can't see anything in like this part too, I'll cover it up like this. Oh man, I'm gonna have so much digging to do off camera. I hope this pick lasts. If it doesn't, then I'll have to like remake it, which is fine too, I guess. So yeah, let me just dig out more. Let's see if I can actually fit this in here before this episode ends. Hmm. 
So I only need to move it over a couple blocks more. And of course I'm going to stack the chests. Because you can put chests on top of each other. I might make it go up to three. And we'll go from there. But yeah, I, I'm just putting these like buffer blocks between. Because you can't put chests next to each other unless you use like the trap chests. Which I don't really feel like making right now. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go for the easier design. And oh man, I see dirt. I hope that doesn't mean that we're reaching the end of the mountain already. I mean, I don't think I've moved that far over, have I? I don't know. I don't even know, like, exactly where I am. Okay, I should just be able to do this, and yeah, that's perfect. And these chests will go over here. Whoops, not right there. This one will go over here. So yeah, next episode, hopefully I'll have... I can get this spawner thing built. And with that, I can probably get some new tools back on, up and running again. Which will be nice because I'm kind of in a bad position here with no no items. So yeah, let me just quickly get the rest of this dug out. I'll do the rest later off camera. And when I start the next episode, you guys will all see the progress that I made. Hopefully I can get the... The, what's it called? The spawner area dug out too. All the way down so we can begin building the building the what's it called? The grinder for EXP. So I'm just gonna leave these here for some extra lighting. There's gonna be one right here and one right here, not there. Okay. Yeah, just missing one chest. And this will be like the storage area. So it'll be like that. So I think that looks pretty cool. And we'll go back up from here. Let me just grab some... Do I have any wood? Yeah, I have wood on me for sure. Let me just make one more chest since that's all I'm missing. We're going to have to end the episode soon. And whoa, it's kind of dark here. Okay, this will go here and I'll stack the rest up later. So yeah, this is like the general idea of how it's going to look. I think it looks pretty decent. We'll have a lot of room for storage. So under here it'll be stone brick, which is fine. And I might make this one higher, actually. A three high entrance. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay, so. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a thumbs up and or subscribing. I do read all comments, so feel free to leave one. And I'm still freaking building right now. But I'll, I'll stop soon. I mean, well, this is just going to be like boring grunt work, so it doesn't even matter. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.